Okay, team, let's work on this new question here. This is from the 190 test. This is, a, this is an interesting one. I want you to take two minutes and we're gonna think about this question and we're gonna re reference back to this, uh, this diagram, okay? But take two minutes and just read it to yourself and then we'll talk about it, okay? Pause the video now. Unpause. So let's read it together. It says here, which of the following statements best describes the relationship? Let me circle relationship between word decoding and reading comprehension in a beginner reader's development. Wow, they fit in a lot here. So a beginner reader, who's that? We think of a beginner reader as, you know, all these students would be considered beginner readers. This is all beginner reader zone, right? Kindergarten, first grade, maybe even second grade, but we have this beginner reader zone right where I circle, okay? And they're talking about the connection between decoding, the relationship between decoding and comprehension. Now, students in kindergarten and first grade, they obviously have to work on comprehension too. So it's not like comprehension doesn't, uh, doesn't uh, we wait for comprehension. No, we're, we're, we're always working on comprehension um, in all the grades. And anything that you do, it's constantly trying to always reinforce comprehension. So this is going on in preschool, in, you know, pre-kindergarten, kindergarten. So, so you know, but, but when we're doing this, it's, it's taking those unknown things, doing letter sound correspondence and getting to a point where they recognize the words and understand the text. So this process is happening for that beginner reader. Now, okay, we're looking for the relationship. We already know that, or I think we can, you know, go with this, that the better our students' uh, decoding skills are, right? The faster they're going to be able to recognize words and pronounce words with the proper speed, accuracy, and expression. Does that make sense? So decoding um, is going to support fluency, the ability to read, read words with proper speed, accuracy, and expression or prosody, right? And the more, uh, the stronger a student's decoding skills are, the faster they're going to be able to read words with the proper speed, accuracy, and expression. And what that's going to do, it's going to help a student's overall comprehension. So decoding leads to fluency, which helps with comprehension. That's sort of the relationship. It's not comprehension helps with fluency, which helps with decoding. No, decoding supports fluency, which leads to comprehension. With that in mind, let's analyze them. De um, is it A, decoding and reading comprehension uh, tend to develop independently, separate? Separate? No, no, that's not true, right? Because we just said decoding leads to comprehension. You can't have comprehension. It's hard to do comprehension. It's hard to do comprehension without decoding. You, you would just be uh, always being taught uh, told you wouldn't be reading. It, it'd be uh, it'd be something else. No, so decoding uh, these aren't independent. This one here is helping build this one here. Okay, so cross that off. How about this one right here? Um, B. Uh, develop of de uh, development of decoding skills has little effect on the development of reading fluency or reading comprehension. Is that true? No, we know that decoding helps with fluency, which is going to help with comprehension. So that's out. Okay, so we're down to C and D. Uh, is it reading comprehension contributes to and directly facilitates the development of decoding skills? Is that it? Comprehension before decoding? No. Okay, so this isn't a particularly hard question if you if you understand the order, right? Decoding, helps to facilitate, uh, uh, improves fluency, which helps with comprehension. So let's see the right answer. Decoding skills are essential for the development of fluency to support reading comprehension. So this leads to this, which is, which is gonna help with comprehension, right? Okay, it's not a hard question. So when you go back and you read this one over, I want you to think about this chart here and how decoding helps support fluency, which 
is going to lead to more comprehension. Okay. This is from that new test. And I think a question like this would be on all the exams. So this is like one of those, those basic theory questions. You're going to see this on your RECA exam. You might have seen this on your RECA exam or your science of teaching and reading exam or whatever exam you're doing. You know, foundations of reading tests. This is one of those, those foundational types of questions that you see on a lot of these exams, okay? The answer is D. It's from this test. And you get to review some of these ideas and cross them out as you get to the, the right answer, okay? Let's keep going.